Hey, this is Jay. Welcome back. I'm going to show you an upgrade that I'm working on on this camper to put a second battery, 12 volt battery, on it. My thought is where this battery's at right here, put another one in long ways right here but I have to put bolt in some brackets to make this work be able to bolt these in just like this to hold that new battery case into place Okay, so I have some scrap channel iron that I had at the farm and I just cut it with a sawzall and uh, bolted it in place, painted it. Now I'm ready to bolt this battery box into place and then I will be getting the new batteries and connecting them all into the system. Okay, this is part two of the battery upgrade. As you can tell, the battery boxes will not fit side by side I ended up putting a couple angle iron pieces in here to brace it up to hold this second box. But what we'll do is take the propane tank cover off, remove the propane tanks, and then we'll show the setup. Okay, so here's the old battery. This is the current setup. This block, I'm going to possibly have to move it to the top of the inside of the lid here but I did have to beef up the frames on the other side of this other battery box to make it work you can see if um, you need to move your propane tanks self tapping screws you can move this further up if you want to uh, to give you more room in your your setup but let's put the batteries in the box and then we'll we'll talk through this Okay, this is the shunt fixed into the lid of the battery box that we'll put together and then finish the wiring of all the other batteries. Keep in mind, when I found these, I could not get these in black and I just covered the ends to remind me that it is negative wire. It's not a positive wire. Okay, we have the batteries tied together. On your shunt, that's your negative ground. Coming to the negative here, to the negative to this battery there's your positive running over to this positive this is running to your shunt as well on the positive side and then your cable that goes inside to the battery monitor so let's put this all together let's check and see how the old battery is doing and see what the the victron battery manager app says the battery is doing Getting ready to upgrade to two new batteries off of the one old original battery. Of course, it's been replaced, but uh, so it's at 99%. No lights are turned on, anything else. 13.14 volts. exactly what this is reading but um, okay here's the battery that come off of it 500 and, let's see 405 cold cranking amp this interstate battery is probably my wife and I were talking about it I think it is six or seven years old so it was ready to be replaced Okay, the Victron battery monitor with the two AGM batteries, the Duracell batteries from Sam's Club. Uh, those two batteries, I shopped around. They're most inexpensive ones that I had found. Uh, let's see, $179 and some change. So let's say $180 plus tax. And I found them at Sam's Club. The two batteries are hooked up. There's no power to the camper. 
but that's what the voltage is right now 12.68 volts so I'm going to go out turn the power back on and the power supply will kick on and start charging these batteries up and keep in mind I think it's the first 30 minutes it's like 14 volts and then the next hour I'm trying to recall from the manual from when I did the initial setup then it will charge because it's a three phase uh, inverter it's going to go to three and then it just goes to a trickle charge so let's go turn this on and see what happens okay here's the directions for the power max inverter where I was talking about earlier let's see if we can pick this up three stage charging it runs 14.6 volts almost 0.5 hours 13.6 volts almost 12 hours and then 13.2 the voltage value of three stage charging will be changed with fixed voltage change when the unit is on the three stage charging and that's making reference to that uh, switch a up there you slide it over to the fixed and uh, you make sure that you're running uh, the proper voltage and switch b is where you can adjust the value up and down okay so we wanted to make sure that uh, you move the switch to adjust fixed voltage move b gently to adjust vo voltage from 13 to 16.5 and get the fixed output voltage make sure the voltage as 14.6 so the very first setting is that 14.6 voltage and then it maintains the three different phases after that but you want to make sure that initially that switch a is turned on you move switch b to 14.6 volts after that switch the a switch back so it'll it'll do the three phase and then you're ready to go Let's take a look at the battery monitor. So currently it's at 14.39 volts. Uh, it, it, it will charge, like it said, nearly half an hour on that before it goes down to the 13 volt setting that we just had shown in the instruction on the PowerMax inverter. Okay, that is interesting. The uh, inverter is on. It's just in trickle charge mode, so it was not depleted bad enough to uh, kick it into high recharge power. All right, here is the front of the camper all put back together. Let me show you something that I had done. Because of the tight fit of the battery boxes, I cut out a section of the propane tank covers, drilled a hole all the way through and got a tarp rubber long enough, goes under the tongue, under the frame, and then that holds that down because it's pretty loose now. That'll keep it from flying off, the, off of this and you somebody out there will find it laying alongside the road. Hope this helps somebody out there. Uh, it's been a fun project. But uh, like, share, and uh, certainly uh, subscribe. And we enjoy uh, reaching out, showing you what we have been doing here lately. God bless.